With Louise Brown's first cry came a revolution in medicine, and watching her birth was the father of IVF, Robert Edwards. He developed the test tube technique for fertilizing human eggs, then nurturing the embryos until they could be implanted in the mother's womb. 32 years later, that breakthrough has won him the Nobel Prize for Medicine. An increasing number of children, now approximately 4 million, have been born thanks to IVF, to the joy of their parents, their grandparents and friends. Professor Edwards is now in his 80s, too ill to collect the prize, but his wife said the family was thrilled. At the Bourne Hall Fertility Clinic, which Professor Edwards set up with his fellow pioneer, Dr. Patrick Steptoe, his former colleagues paid tribute. They had so many, so many failures. It didn't work, it didn't work. They kept changing everything, they kept trying to figure out what was going wrong. But they never gave up. They never gave up. They persevered with the courage of their convictions until finally in 1978 they achieved the spectacular success. At first, Professor Edwards faced a barrage of criticism for his work. The Catholic Church said it was an affront to human dignity. <laughs> but by the time Louise Brown turned 25, IVF had become widely accepted, with a success rate that matched natural conception. In a statement, she congratulated her creator, it's fantastic news. Me and Mum are so glad that one of the pioneers of IVF has been given the recognition he deserves. The Nobel Prize is worth around a million pounds, but Professor Edwards was never motivated by money or fame, just the happiness he was able to bring to childless couples. Thomas Moore, Sky News.